All right, we kind of have some news in the weather world today. Nothing breaking or anything like that, but both NOAA and Colorado State University updated the hurricane forecast. You know these was a bunch of numbers they do a couple times leading up to the season. Average is 14 named storms. They've dropped it from about 15 to 21 down to 14 to 21. They haven't really dropped it much, just a little bit. Same thing even with the uh, major hurricanes, three to six is what they had before. Three to five is what they have now, so it's not dropped very much. Colorado State did something exactly uh, very similar, at least not exact, but they're going 20 named storms, 10. That was in July, 10 hurricanes. They're now going 18 named storms, eight in hurricanes. All of this is great. Just kind of tells you, hey, is the season going to be busy or not? But remember, it only takes one of those storms. So the numbers are great. They give you an idea of what we're looking at. But generally, things are very quiet now. But it's the time of year where things start to ramp up. So look, we're not looking for any development the next five days. One of the reasons, though, why we're looking for an enhanced season is because we're in a La Nina phase. La Nina means less wind shear. We actually have a lot of wind shear right now. But that will be weakening as well gradually, and that means we can make more storms. We also have slightly warmer than average water temperatures. There's been some cool water around so far this year. It's helped keep us a little bit quiet. But if you look at the main development region for August, you can see a lot of that water is at or above normal, and it should be warming as well. Plus, we've got an enhanced African monsoon season, which is these storms that are coming here, and that makes more storms to get out over the water and potentially make systems. Now, they also make a little bit of dust, and we've had a lot of it around through July and even now into August. This is the forecast for the next week and a half, and you see more of it coming, but that typically peaks in July, so we should be seeing less and less of this. This dries out the air, makes it hard for storms to form. If we see less and less of this, which we should over time, gives you a slightly better chance to see more storms. Okay, back at home.